it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Saturday August 25th this could be the 25th and the 26th how you know or whenever because you know these readings are kind of timeless they really are because we're all at different stages and you know timing is universal really so this is a daily energy for whoever this resonates with. We're going to get two of these and see whatever comes up. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Beautiful. Yep. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, literally, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Maybe you're deciding that you want to move it up a notch. Maybe you're just deciding to love again. Maybe um, you're deciding to let this magnetic attraction grow. Wheel of Fortune reversed. It's like clinging to control, trying to control an outcome, trying to control the future. Yeah, well, a lot of people do that, don't they? It's as though, you know, there's one cycle that needs to complete because this is a completion, there's a phase, there's a chapter that is, is trying to get you to move forward, but... You're not doing it. You're trying to control it. You're trying to hinder it. You're going backwards. And this going backwards by trying to control is bringing you bad luck. Oh, boy. So, karma. Karma is an issue here. It is. So, somebody has to do the right thing to bring balance to their lives. There's a heavy decision that needs to be made. But then this decision needs to be made with integrity. It's time to, to make something final. And in order to make it final, you're going to have to do the right thing. But somebody doesn't want to close the chapter that needs to be closed. Destiny karma. You get bad karma from not allowing things to flow as they should. Mm. Somebody is blocking forward movement. thinking about it too much instead of just taking action there's too much analyzing going on here action needs to be taken to find happiness there's an opportunity for happiness there's an opportunity for growth there's an opportunity for renewal but somebody is refusing to move forward. Probably, they may not even be any com communication. You know, I'm not communicating. I'm not moving. Yeah. 
Yeah, stalling. Baby steps, huh? You know, this is the Knight of Pentacles. This is a test. Your own security, you know, with yourself is being tested. It's time to be practical. And make that decision that is going to bring balance back to your life. Even out the scales, even out the... thoughts in your head, whatever it is. It's time to make something final so that you can be happy again. You have to you have to do the right thing. It's time to do the right thing. It's time to make that this difficult decision that you have been teetering on. A lot of you are growing weary. You have a lot of doubt in your head, but you are unable to just let that last little bit go. It is time to move on with a nine. You've given something your all. Same old story, huh? Ego, pride, power struggles. You know, you may feel like You've been defeated. But in all rights, it's really the other person that's been defeated. Because whoever's walking away knows what they're worth. Mm. King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is you, and it doesn't have to be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but the King of Cups in reverse is a person that is withdrawn, cold-hearted, uh, inconsiderate, selfish, and doesn't isn't opening their heart. Somebody that it could use emotional blackmail. To hurt you. You know, this person, whoever, whatever sign it is, will use the silent treatment as a punishment. This person also has a really big ego right next to it. So I feel like it's in your best interest. To do what's right for you. To find your own integrity. Your integrity is being tested. Your own securities. Somebody is thinking about going back to something that is not destined to be. They think that the happiness lies with this individual that isn't communicating. That isn't open hearted. I think that a decision is being made to hold somebody accountable for their actions and perhaps let go of this person that is very egotistical and brought you to your knees. But somebody has been really thinking about it. They're thinking about the memories. They're thinking about the happiness that once was. I really don't want to even share this reading. But um, I'd like it to be. I'd like this to be something different. So I feel like, you know, but it's not. There, somebody is being tested. 
they're receiving, you know, some some sort of opportunity to finally, finally make the decision to give up. There's no reunion, there's no reconciliation, there's no happiness, there's no reason to celebrate with somebody that isn't headed in your direction. They're not communicating, they're not taking any action, their ego is huge. There's probably a third party situation that somebody doesn't want to see, she's got a mask on up there. Your own insecurities or securities, however one you want to look at it, are being tested right now. How secure are you with yourself, with your worth? Something is ending. It's a time of transition. A transition from one chapter to the next, from one phase to the next, from one project to the next. It's time that the decision is being made to let something die because there's no more forward movement. There's no communication. There's no more growth. And there's no happiness here. There's a new opportunity for happiness. These are at the end. There's a new opportunity for something solid and stable and secure. Something that you are manifesting that will make you feel abundant and really, 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 really happy. This is a new security, a new security that can make you very happy. And there's probably a, a new chemistry. And you're, you're directly being pulled in that direction. But you absolutely have to close this chapter first. And it hasn't completely been closed. This is the very first card that came out. Somebody is needing to allow this destiny, this new path, this new chapter to start. Free will plays a part. And as long as you fight the new beginning, you will get bad luck. No shit. So, that's karma. That's how it works out. If you fight what is what is or isn't meant to be, you get karma for that. So, anyway, I feel as though there is a golden opportunity, a new opportunity, a new security that it will make you much happier. That you are be that you're being pulled in that direction. You're being tested. Hmm. But you may be shut down emotionally a little bit. Okay. You may be, you know, oh, work is too important. My job is too important. My kids, my family, my everything but love. You know, I'm really shut down to love. <laughs> You know, uh, I feel as though right now you may be a little stubborn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be anybody. Somebody is not allowing this, this love to grow. Burying themselves and everything but love. Even though they've been manifesting a new beginning. Whew. Yeah, somebody has set up boundaries. It's like my boundaries are up. My guard is up. There's a fence around my heart. There is. There's a fence around my heart. I, I feel like I can't believe a word that anybody says. There's somebody that is, um, or that has really, really hurt you. 
Somebody has lied. Therefore, I feel like you are unable to trust this new opportunity. I think for many of you, there's been a third party situation that has brought somebody to their knees and it's hard to give up on it. Either way, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a death here. There's an ending. Endings bring new beginnings. And that's why this came out like it did. Somebody is ending one cycle and beginning and having an opportunity for something much, much better. Somebody's still holding on to that fantasy, whatever it was. You know, the memories of the past, whatever. They're still holding on. I mean, that's what it is. But somebody is allowing it to end because there's no more forward movement. There's no more happiness. There's not a reunion. There hasn't been a reunion. And they're accepting the undesirable outcome. There's been a lot of difficulty in communication with Whoever this person is that brought you to your knees. This person's probably still watching you or you're watching them. And there could be some jealousy here. But they're still not offering any solid, anything solid because they're cold hearted and closed off emotionally. So I think this is a new opportunity that could make you very happy. If you could not look back, don't look back. Mm, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn twice. I think there's a new soulmate connection because you see the king and queen right over each other. And you may be getting caught in a new love situation. <gasps> and it could lead to commitment. With somebody solid, stable, and secure. Maybe, maybe all of a sudden there's this, this chemistry that is unexpected. So I feel like today is a day of you taking a test. Whether it's today, yesterday, tomorrow, you're being tested. Are you ready? for this new solid opportunity? Are you ready to allow this new opportunity to ascend up? Are you ready to stop robbing yourself from happiness? Because there's an opportunity for happiness and bliss and growth with a new solid opportunity. But you can't control destiny. You can. Controlling destiny will bring bad karma. You have to let what is meant to be, be. Those of you that are trying to hold on to something that is dead are blocking your own happiness. Refusing to take action with the Knight of Wands reverse. Refusing. Some of you are allowing this new beginning to start. So this goes for, this is for two different people. Some of you are wounded, have been so wounded that you are scared to allow this new opportunity to, to manifest, even though it's manifesting. Anyway, I feel as though you have, uh, you are in the process of 
of letting something, making a decision to let something end, to balance out your life, to balance out your, your, your feelings, you know, your, your health, everything, to balance out yourself. Some of you are still blocking it, though. You are. I mean, look what's on both sides of the, the Justice card. Some the, the Eight of Wands reverse and the Wheel reverse. Somebody is trying to block the change. But some of you are going to allow this transition to happen. So anyway, what I was going to say was that somebody is letting go of somebody. They're letting go of a situation that is closed off. It's closed off. There's no communication. There's no growth. There's no forward movement. They're letting it go. And therefore, there's a new opportunity that's been growing, that has been growing. And I feel like there's there's probably two people here. There's the one from the past and there's the one from the future. The one from the past is probably still watching you. But they don't have the the guts to step outside of their ego and their pride to to make a move. They don't. They don't have the guts. They don't have the... The follow through, you know, they're just, they're all talk. They don't, they can't take any action, you know, they're just a coward. Okay? So this is the person from the past. Then you have this person that's new, that's waiting, that's stable, that's secure, that's here with an offer. The offer of something solid. And you are being tested. So you got somebody in the background that is jealous of you, okay, with these two cards. And this one. You got somebody in the background that is jealous of your happiness. But their ego and pride is so big that they will not communicate. They will not, you know, put happiness above their pride. They just will not. So that person, it looks like that person is the one that, you know, is... not bringing balance to your life that person is not bringing any victory and success they're not taking any action they're not they're not noble so this person is is being left behind if they don't want to be happy that's that's not your problem It's time of transition. It's a time to release the worry and the anxiety and the depression and the guilt. And accept the truth. Accept what you are hearing. This is a wake-up call. So I feel as though somebody is getting the clarity they need to pass this test. To take steps in a new beginning after holding on to something that was a dead end for so long. Somebody was controlled by, you know, what is it, the, that trauma, you know, abusive trauma. It's hard to let that go. Anyway, whoever this person is in the background, they are jealous and they do see you moving on. They do see that you're happy, and they do see that you have a new opportunity. But their ego is too big for them to do anything about it. They obviously are not in love. Whoever this person is in the background, I know a lot of you are not going to want to hear this. If somebody loves you, they communicate. If somebody loves you, they take action in your direction. If somebody loves you, they tell you the truth. If somebody loves you, they don't cause you stress and depression and guilt. You are dealing with somebody in the past that has no respect. And now there's a new opportunity for something solid in long term. Could be with an earth sign. Whoever this new person is, it also could be a soulmate connection. This is new and this is new. So for those of you that don't want to hear this message, I'm sure that you can find somebody to tell you exactly what you want to hear. 
keep looking. The truth here is being conveyed. The truth is being conveyed. There's a new opportunity that can make you happy and secure. If you can transition from one phase to the other. Fighting it will bring you bad luck. So I feel like there's an opportunity for a new commitment here. That's what I see. Why don't you go for it? We'll get one or more of these now that we've went that far. Oh. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Who is it? You? It's time to move on to something better, solid, stable. It's a golden opportunity. Take it. 